Cronopagus parasiticus is an extremely rare type of parasitic twinning occurring in about 2 to 3 of 5 million births. In Cronopagus parasiticus, a parasitic twin head with an undeveloped body is attached to the head of a developed twin. Fewer than a dozen cases of this type of conjoined twin have been documented in literature. The exact development of Cronopagus parasiticus is not well known. However, it is known that the underdeveloped twin is a parasitic twin. Parasitic twins are known to occur in utero when monozygotic twins start to develop as an embryo, but the embryo fails to completely split. When this happens, one embryo will dominate development, while the other's development is severely altered. The key difference between a parasitic twin and conjoint twins is that in parasitic twins, one twin, the parasite, stops development during gestation, whereas the other twin, the autocyte, develops completely. In normal monozygotic twin development, one egg is fertilized by a single sperm. few decades. These are complex operations, but with detailed planning they can be broken down into a number of smaller, safer steps. The first step is to do a detailed assessment of the twins, their brains and the blood vessels, and how they join together. We also study the skull and the soft tissues. Following the assessment, a detailed plan is drawn out. For the first two to three procedures, we focus on separating out the brains and the blood vessels. Once this is successfully done, a piece of plastic is put between the two brains, and internally we have two separate kids. We then focus on the skull and the skin, we put tissue expanders to stretch the skin, and the final reconstruction is done by reconstructing the top of their heads with their own bone and covering the top of their heads with the expanded skin. At the end of the final stage, we have two separate babies instead of a conjoined pair. Hope you liked our video, share this information with your loved ones, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.